Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. I am Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to all of um, the the OGs, I'll call you. <laughs> Welcome. It's great to see you guys. And if you're new to the channel, it is so wonderful to meet you. Thank you for joining us. So we are almost at 2,000 subscribers, guys. Like As I'm recording this right now, I think it's at like 1950-something. I'm so excited. I mean, we reached a thousand subscribers last Sunday and like a thousand subscribers in a week is like nutballs. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. I'm really so very grateful. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, yeah, thank you for all the likes and subscribes and comments and all of that stuff. I'm so happy to connect with you guys. Sorry, I, I feel like this chair is a little too high. Hey, okay. So... Twin flames. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so what's going on? What's going on? Um, it's been an interesting week. That's for sure. There have been a lot of shifts, a lot of shifts. Um, I know personally in my, my life, my masculine energies have really come to the forefront lately, um, which, which caused me a little bit of, um, confusion because as you know, the Divine Feminine has really been in this moment of needing to be detached, and I've been working on that, and it's been difficult. Um, and then the energies resurged. Once I really hit detachment, the energies resurged and got even stronger in many cases, and, it, and I was oscillating back and forth between like worried about whether I'm still detached or not and feeling like I was starting to get reattached, and it was just crazy. And then all the synchronicities were just like, his name is everywhere, guys everywhere <laughs> and it's nice I've gotten to the point where I, I'm it makes me happy when I see his name um, it just I get worried because I don't want to fall back into the whole attachment thing but as far as the masculine uh, the the shift in the energies when my my masculine energies really kind of came to the forefront and was like hey here I am been standing here this whole time <laughs> um, and so I started picking up some energy of uh oh, do I need to be pursuing him? Has he shifted into the divine feminine energy? And am I, is it now my turn to like start trying to get something going again? Um, but I didn't. <laughs> um, it was confusing. It was very confusing. Um, but, you know, I'm still, I still very much identify with the feminine energies. So I'm just going to stick with that. There it is. <laughs> um, but then also I did reach a moment where, um, I was kind of like, you know, I don't even know if I want to watch Twin Flame videos anymore. I, it's just, I just really, am not really interested. It's not like I'm going off the path. It's just, I'm not all that interested in the videos and <laughs> what the videos have to say. Um, and as a reader myself, you know, I, a lot of the messages I need to hear come out in the messages I do for you guys in the videos that I do for the channel and all that and for the community. So, I don't know, I've still been kind of watching. A friend of mine that I, that I spoke to about it, she said that she's just like jumping off the bandwagon to be all together, and I totally get it. Um, honestly, those of you that have been in this journey, in this situation for years, I mean, somebody left a comment on one of my videos saying that um, they've been in this for 33 years, and I'm like, Lord, how mercy, honey, how you doing that? Like, I don't get it, I don't get it. It hasn't even been a year for me, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, um, I get it. I mean, and if, if, if you are falling off the band, a lot of you have been leaving comments saying that you're just totally leaving your divine masculine behind. I get it. I totally get it. Um, it's just like, for me, I've gotten to a point now where it's just, there really is no one I want to be with. There's no one else I want to be with. And if I feel like, I'm feeling like right now, at least as it stands, if I were to pursue a relationship with somebody else, I'd really just be wasting both our time. Because I'd be in the back of my mind just thinking, oh, what's my twin doing? Is he okay? Is he dating someone? Are they are they being good to him? Like, you know, that kind of thing. So there's that. <laughs> um, let's see, what else what else what else should we talk about? That solar flare oh god, Mercury Mercury retrograde, guys. Woo wee! That has been kicking my ass. I have just been so tired lately, like so exhausted. Um, but we're getting through it. We're all getting through it. We're all going to survive. Um, oh, a little bit of shop talk. If you guys are trying to connect with me on Instant Go, 
that unfortunately really isn't working out too well for me. Um, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but um, it doesn't always notify me <laughs> when things are happening. Um, like I checked it a few days ago because I was like, huh, I don't have any notifications. Let me just go in there and see. And of course I did have notifications. Somebody sent me a, a, a question. This was Friday. This was yesterday. Somebody sent me a question on Tuesday. Tuesday, guys. And I never got a notification for it, so I never looked. I apologize. I'm really, really sorry. And I'm not trying to... Instant Go is a great, great system. It's awesome. Um, especially if you have just a quick question. But for me personally, it's not working out so well right now. Um, I, that might change in the future, don't get me wrong. But for right now, if you want to get a reading with me, you're better off just emailing me about it, and we can work something out that way. Um, Another piece, a little nugget of information. If you are in the New York City area, um, the five boroughs, or if you're visiting, I am going to be doing readings uh, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore coming up soon. They are in, currently in the process of moving to a, a larger location a few doors down from where they are right now. But once that gets all settled um, and I have a schedule... I will let you guys know, um, and I will let you know how you'll be able to book a session or whatnot, or if you just want to walk in, I'll give you all those details when I have it. But just to put that on your radar, if you wanted to do like a face-to-face -face reading with me and you're in the area, in the New York City area, please come see me. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I guess there's enough of that. I'm going to get into the reading now. So I am using a new deck, guys. <laughs> Funny story about that. So I carry my cards with me everywhere I go, just so that I can, you know, if somebody wants a reading, I can just, boop, do a reading for you. Um, and I went out with some friends on Friday night and lost my cards. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not so proud of it, but at the same time, <laughs> I've got new cards now. <laughs> so I'm using the Tarot Apocalypsis deck. This deck is gorgeous, guys. Like, it's so beautiful. The imagery on this deck is just like... Bam! Right in your face. It's fantastic. I'm really excited to do this um, with this deck. So, Twin Flame readings, as normal, every week, starting with the Divine Feminine, moving to the Divine Masculine. Going to be doing the same spread that I've been doing all along, yeah? So, let's get into this, shall we? I am going to be starting, yes, with the Divine Feminine. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine Collective. What is going on for the Divine Feminine right now? Um, guys, this is... Sorry, I'm sorry. I know the, the cards are really loud. Um, I'm going to be shuffling. If you want to, if you want to like, turn down the volume or something while I'm shuffling, please do so. These cards are really thick. They're really slick, um, and they're new, so it's a little hard to shuffle them, so it's kind of loud at the moment. But um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, all right? So take what leaves with... Sorry. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Also, uh, these messages are not time sensitive, okay? So whenever you stumble upon this video, if it resonates for you, that was the message for you at the time, yes? So, Spirit, uh, messages for the Divine Feminine right now. Um, what are the best messages for the Divine Feminine at this moment? Thank you so much, Spirit. One more shuffle for the Divine Feminine. All right. Okay. So, for the Divine Feminine, overall energy, we have the world. The world, yes. So completion is happening, and I'm totally resonating with that. There is a whole new... Um, aspect of your life that's coming into play right now, Divine Feminine. And this doesn't necessarily mean, um, it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your Divine Masculine, okay? This is just for you right now, Divine Feminine. Things are changing. A lot of things are coming to an end. There are a lot of cycles that are ending for you. For some of you, this is absolutely talking about um, the ending or the closing out of this cycle with your twin. Um, and I'm going to be quite honest with you. Though you may feel like you're in a moment where you're doing this because you're just, you're just fed up and you don't want to deal with it anymore, uh, deep down underneath the surface, you um, closing this chapter out is actually a really, really good thing because it's allowing you to step away from this drama, the cycle that's been going on, this, this back and forth. Um, it's allowing you to really work on letting go of this image or this 
this view of your divine masculine that you've had for X amount of time that you guys have been on this journey. Um, so uh, even if even if you're saying right now, I'm t completely done with this, I'm moving on and I'm finding someone else, that's fine. Definitely do that. But know that it's it's actually, it's facilitating much something much deeper. We also have the Queen of Swords. So yes, that makes perfect sense. This is totally speaking to those of us in the collective that are like, screw this shit, I'm done. <laughs> you know, I'm so over, I'm not even, I'm so over the drama, I'm so over the back and forth. Because y'all know the Queen of Swords ain't about the drama, y'all. She is not about the drama. Anytime she sees somebody is like just being whatever and she don't like it, she cuts that shit real quick, okay? So this is where the, a lot of the Divine Feminines are. Now, it doesn't have to be so extreme. It really could just be that you're, you're looking at things from an objective point of view and you're really just making the necessary cuts for yourself, for your own betterment, okay? Does, do, do some of us still have our divine masculine in our sights? Yes, absolutely. I am one of them. But it's not a thing where I'm, um, um, it's not so much about, you know, doing things to facilitate union with him. I'm doing things to facilitate union with myself. And that's happening. That's happening for a lot of us because our energies are starting to balance out more and more. And a lot of you that are are feeling this this drive to really just disconnect and move on from this 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 journey this relationship with your 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 divine masculine a lot of that is coming from your masculine energies coming to the forefront and being super logical with, with you and like the emotions kind of getting pushed to the back and you're kind of seeing things from a brand new point of view and you're like fuck that <laughs> i don't want to deal with that anymore you know and honestly, that is a good thing. Why? Because it's facilitating union. We also have the magician. The magician is talking about the divine, ma the masculine energies that are coming forward within you, uh, divine feminine. So you're really balancing out between the queen of swords and the magician here. You are going after what it, what, what you want. You are cutting out the drama. You are saying, I know I don't want that, and so I'm going to go in this direction because in going in this direction, I will be able to to to, to manifest. That which I'm looking for. Would that could that be a new relationship with someone else? Else, yes, absolutely. It definitely very well could. Could that be a new relationship with yourself? Absolutely. That is a central theme here. Could that be a new relationship, a resurgence of the relationship with your divine masculine? Hallelujah. You know that's right. I know that's right. We all know that's right, honey. <laughs> okay. Finally, we have mm -hmm, look. We have the nine of wands. Just keep swimming. Perseverance. Keep going, okay? Especially in the light of this magician energy here. Just keep pushing along. You're persevering, Divine Feminine. You're not going to let anything get you down. You may be battered and bruised, but that is not going to stop you from getting what you want, okay? And then also, at the very bottom of all of that, we have the Six of Cups, okay? So that's kind of the universe's way and spirit's way of gently saying to you, hey, you think it's over, but it's really not. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. But hey, that's okay. Just keep going. Keep moving. Do what it is your heart is calling you to do. Okay. That is all that matters here. Just walk your path and just keep swimming. Yeah. Your current surrounding energy is divine feminine. We have the princess of cups. So we have the page of cups. So this is talking, this is definitely talking about um, the ending of this cycle and a brand new um, emotional reality for the divine feminine. This doesn't, this isn't really talking about um, any resurgence of love or anything between you and your divine masculine. This is more about, this is more talking about, I'm, I'm picking up there is a new level of emotional maturity that the Divine Feminine is uh, achieving, is moving into right now with the, the world here, with endings of major cycles and all that. You're, I'm really picking up that you're, you're really stepping into your power in the sense that you're really starting to take responsibility for your life. And a lot of that is really reflected in the comments that a lot of you are sending right now. It's, you're all really saying, look, I can't pick up the pieces for him anymore. He needs needs to be the one to come to come get me. He needs to be the one to take responsibility for his part in the role in the situation. I'm taking responsibility for my role in the relationship and I'm setting setting boundaries, okay? And that's really good. So that's what the the princess of cups or in other decks the page of cups is talking about here. Um how you're viewing uh your twin. Um and also um this 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 uh this card this position is also going to be 
how your feminine and masculine energies are kind of interacting with each other. But this can also mean, speak to how you are viewing your twin. We have the Queen of Wands. Uh, yeah! So a lot of you are, a lot of us, are still very much standing in this divine, feminine, passionate, fiery energy, okay? I know I am, but then coupled with this page or princess of cups here, this brand new level of emotional maturity, it's really just you standing back and just smoldering. Just sitting there in your throne, staring at the divine masculine, just watching him, shining your light, doing you, being yourself, being your charismatic and magical and um, magnetic and beautiful, um, desirable, um, lustful, I'm hearing, feminine energy. You, like you're really you're really doing you right now, divine feminine. And I'm gonna be quite honest with you. For a lot of for many cases, for those of us whose whose divine masculine is has either woken up or is starting to wake up, man, are you piquing his interest? <laughs> Let me tell you, there has been a lot of lustful energy um, between the twins right now, and I say that's a great thing because this is a divine partnership. Desire and lust are not necessarily a bad thing, but when it's out of alignment to higher will, we'll say. When it's out of alignment, yes, that's when it can get dangerous and destructive. But here in this divine partnership, I mean, y'all, hold all the lust you want. <laughs> and just like, just but but like hold it for this person. Hold it for your counterpart. Hold it with intentions to um, share it with him. Because y'all, if y'all haven't felt it, I'm gonna tell you right now, he wants it and he wants it bad, okay? <laughs> I want it too. Moving on! <laughs> next we have, um, in your next position, this is where are you in relation to union? Um, and also, where are you in relation to, um, oh, where are you in relation to union within yourself? But I want to go back here to this Queen of Wands and I want to point out that um, how you are interacting with your masculine energies, divine feminine, um, you're really coming into uh, oneness with your masculine and feminine energies. And that is really just making you that much stronger of a feminine energy. You know what I mean? Because you are really becoming more whole. So the Queen of Wands here in relation to that, to that is saying you are drawing on your masculine energies in order to be that much more of a Queen of Wands. I hope that makes sense. The next card, your fourth position, I'm sorry, your third position, where are you in relation to union with your twin? And also, where are you in relation to union within yourself? We have the six of pentacles, okay? So what's going on right now is um, uh, you have taken this lesson of balance between give and take to heart, and you're really setting the boundaries to make sure that no one walks all over you again. Okay, no one takes with take, takes from you without giving back. And now I'm not saying that you should you should give with the expectation of giving back. No, but you should still be able to receive. Okay, so a lot of a lot of the divine feminines, a lot of us are really starting to become comfortable with receiving. We're getting our grounding, our foundation set there, so that we can have a balance between give and take. What I'm also picking up here is these boundaries that the Divine Feminine is putting forward right now for her life is really teaching the Divine Masculine a serious lesson, okay? We'll get into the Divine Masculine energies later, but he's really seeing the value in the balance between give and take. He's really starting, and uh, uh, please understand, when I say he, I, I'm referring to the energy, I'm not referring to a gender, a gender, okay? But the Divine Masculine is really, like this lesson is really hitting home for him right now. And so uh, as a result, a lot of the Divine Masculines have gone into some sort of, some sort of hermit mode. It may not be as extreme as it was in the past, um, but there has been a little bit of introspection, like, oh, Ew. okay, now I get it. Oh God, now what do I do? Um, and that, honestly, that's really a good thing. It really is a good thing. And I don't want any, if, if, you're an, if you're a divine masculine and you're out there watching this right now, I don't want you to think that, you know, um, we're coming down on you for it. Oh, everything that has happened, everything that has gone on between the twins throughout this journey for however long you've been on it, all of it has, sir, it's been for a reason. It's been to serve, uh, to facilitate both counterparts or both um, partners learning, learning something new, healing, growing, expanding, becoming better, okay? So yes, yes, 
the, six, the, 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 the lesson of the Six of Pentacles, the lesson of the balance between give and take is really um, in the forefront for both twins right now. But it's showing up for the Divine Feminine because the Divine Feminine is really facilitating this lesson coming through, okay? Through, through setting boundaries. Next, we have what you want your twin to know. And as always, as usual, I am going to leave this as is. What would you like your twin to know right now, Divine Feminine? We have the Queen of Cups. <laughs> so for those of you that are um, embarking on a brand new journey and, you know, looking for a new relationship, you are actively taking the love and care and nurturance that you want to give your mind, Divine Masculine and you're moving forward with it. You're saying to him, I am not going to, I'm not going to stand here and wait for you while you putz around doing X, Y, and Z, running away from the situation. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to take all this love that I have to give and I'm going to give it to someone that's ready for it. Um, that is a harsh message. Y'all are very happy with me keeping it real. So I'm going to continue to keep it real. But still, like, I still feel the hearts of some of the divine masculines out there that are hearing this message. I feel their hearts breaking. Um, and I want to reassure them that, you know, it is all love here. But if your heart is breaking in hearing that message, divine masculine, you need to take responsibility for your role in the situation. I'm not trying to say that your divine feminine is immaculate. We all are human, we all make mistakes, we all have our things we need to learn, work on and learn from. But if your heart is breaking, Divine Masculine, you need to learn what your involvement was in the situation that has helped make the Divine Feminine now move on, okay? Um, for those of you that are sticking around, like me, um, you are letting your divine masculine know that, babe, I'm here. And to be quite honest, I love you more now than I did before. Why? Because I've grown. I've matured. I've understand. I've come to a greater understanding of things. I've come to a greater understanding of why things have happened the way they did. And I love you so much more now because of it and for it and through it. And to be quite honest, like, I want to give love to someone, but like I said, like personally, Eric, like... <laughs> Like Eric said personally, because the divine feminine was channeling through me. But as I was saying personally, Eric was saying in the beginning, yeah, I want to I want to share love with someone, but I feel like it's going to be a waste of time because ultimately I'm just going to want to come back to my twin. OK, so a lot of you divine feminines with this queen of cups energy, you're saying, I understand. I understand so much more now and I love you so much more. And I'm here. I mean, I'm not putting my life on hold. Understand that I'm not putting my life on hold. But I'm here for the long haul. I want to be your queen of cups. I want to be your emotional support system. I want to nurture you. I want to love you. I want to give you the things that um, you've always wanted. I want to give you the emotional stability and the unconditional love that you know you want, you're seeking, and you know you want to give me too. It's really a beautiful message. Now, the, the next message that's coming through with the Queen of Cups, and this is for everyone all over, overall, the Queen of Cups is saying that the Divine Feminine is very much in tune with her intuition. And if you think for one second that your Divine Feminine cannot feel you, Divine Masculine, you are terribly mistaken. <laughs> Lord, we feel you all the time. And the connection, the connection was always strong. Don't get me wrong. The connection was always strong. But man, is it stronger now. Why? Because if, if your connection has taken like a step up to another level, it's because you have successfully detached and you have, you have been able to look at things from an objective point of view, from an, from an observer point of view, instead of being wrapped up in the three-dimensional reality of things. You have been able to zoom out um, and, and see the bigger picture, see why everything happened the way it did, and, under, and have come to an understanding of why things have happened the way they did. And because of that, that has allowed the connection to really get that much stronger. It was strong to, be get, to begin with, but you know we're really just fortifying things and solidifying things. And I feel like as, as we meet, as the you know, divine feminine comes down from the fifth dimension into the fourth, and the divine masculine comes up into, from the third dimension into the fourth, as we kind of like merge into the fourth dimension where we can really, you know, really commingle and mix, it helps to make the connection stronger. 
more stable, more solidified, yes. Excellent. And notice, notice we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups when it right next to each other. And to me, this is like this is like ultimate depiction of the divine feminine within the minor arcana. The combination of the passion and fire and desire of the Queen of Wands with the um, emotional support, the love, unconditional love, intuition of the Queen of Cups. I love that. Okay, next, what's crowning you, Divine Feminine? What is your current challenge? What are your sights focused on? Um, what are you manifesting? What are you working towards? We have the Princess of Wands. So we have the Page of Wands here. So with this, um, oh my God, guys, wait a second. Look, we've got the Princess and the, the Princess of Cups and Wands, and we have the Queen of Cups and Wands. <sighs> I love that. That is some, that is really cool. So, What's on the Divine Feminine's mind right now? Lust. Making love to your twin. Oh yeah! But not just that. Um, especially if you've moved into a, a position where you're now actively seeking another relationship. You are taking all of that passion and that fire and that desire and looking for the ideal mate. Okay? When it comes to staying with your twin, you're, you have reached this new level emotionally. And you've reached this new level within the collective. And please understand that your divine mask, if, you, if you're resonating with this part of the reading and you do feel like you've reached a new level within this connection, your divine masculine has also leveled up as well, okay? But as the divine feminine, you are standing in your power of the queen of wands with this brand new passion and desire for your divine masculine. And it's much more mature now than it was before. Like I understand it's showing up as a princess, but that's more of uh, the princess is also the page um, in the traditional tarot deck. But it's showing up as the princess, not because it's immature on the contract. On the contrary, it is taking a much more mature level. Okay. But it's showing up as the page or the princess because it's like a new start um, within this passionate energy for your twin. And then, like I said, for others of you that are that are moving on and looking for like a soulmate, um, you are you're embarking on something new, you know? So it, it, and again, it's not immature either for you. It's actually much more mature than it used to be because you learned too much to go back to who you were. Like there's no going back now. So it's definitely on a much more mature level, but at the same time, it's a brand new start, okay? Finally, the underlying energy, the um, the undercurrent, we I like to call this card, is the Three of Cups. Victory, victory, y'all. And this, and, and let me tell you, the Three of Cups has been coming up for the collective over the last like week or so, maybe two weeks. And all around, the general consensus is this is not talking about cheating or a third party situation. No, this is about celebration. And here, what I'm picking up is we're celebrating right now because we have all leveled up and we know it. We feel it. Like it, Everything is brand new, yet still what we're familiar with. And so a lot of us, it, actually, I'm picking up some of you have, may have even either come into contact with, you, with your, your divine masculine. Um, you're in the process of coming into union. You're already in union. Um, and that is facilitating this want to celebrate, this want to go out and be together and um, uh, celebrate with friends and have a party. And um, But also, as the undercurrent, you are desiring this, Divine Feminine. It's like you want to, you want everything to come out in the open. You want to let people know, this is my partner. This is who I am going to spend the rest of my life with. Um, you want rec you want to be recognized. Uh, this isn't the Six of Wands. It's more the Three of Cups. So it's more about celebration and just enjoying your time together. But um, what's driving a lot of this situation right now is wanting to be social, spending time with your twin, uh, going out on dates. Um, I just heard making love to each other again. <laughs> I mean, that is a big thing. And it is a big thing. But we'll get into that because I feel like most of that is coming from the Divine Masculine. Because that is very much how um, masculine energies show love and appreciation. And that is not a bad thing, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, there are the messages for you, Divine Feminine. Um, and then we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, uh, this isn't over, guys. 
It's not over. You may feel like it's over. You may be, you honestly, I'm just going to throw this out there because spirit is saying this. You may be in a, in a, in a moment where you're done with this. F that I'm moving on to someone else. Okay. That's cool. But what you're not, what you don't really understand or what you don't really realize on a conscious level. And my ego is kind of flaring up right now. He's like, Oh, don't tell them that. And spirit's like, no, Eric, tell them the truth. I am going to tell you the truth. What you don't really understand or recognize is this desire to just break away and find a new um, a new partner to find the soulmate, say, is part of Spirit's way of guiding you deeper into detachment, okay? It's those of you that really haven't been able to achieve a good sense of, of detachment that are in the mode of wanting to um, find a new partner, for the most part. Okay, that's not everybody, but for the most part, the reason why some of this energy is coming up of wanting to find a new partner and wanting to leave your twin behind is because you're really struggling with detachment. And so the universe is stepping in here and helping you create some new de desires so that you can detach and move on and so that things can really flourish. Okay. There it is, Divine Feminine. So I'm going to use the same deck just because I love this deck so much and I want to keep working with it. So I'm going to use the same deck and I'm going to do um, do the Divine Masculine's reading now. All right, so just bear with me for a few moments. I do want to, you know, reshuffle and, you know, whoops, and like get everything cleared. So for the Divine... <laughs> For the Divine Masculine, cards are just flying all over the place. I did a, um, a private reading for someone right before I started recording this. And, like, I was shaking like crazy because the cards were just so filled with energy. And it was the first time we were working together. So I was kind of nervous. They were kind of like, oh, God, what, what's going to happen here? But, you know, our energies were coming together and it was, it was very intense. All right. So for the Divine Masculine... Okay, these just these just flew out. Um, so the Divine Masculine has some flyers here. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, look at what just flew out. The sun and the moon. Okay, so this is not just for the Divine Masculine. This is actually for both of us. We are really starting to step into our power. And in stepping into our power, we're also balancing our masculine and feminine energies. Wait, let me put it this way. There we go. Masculine and feminine energies. Yes. We're balancing, guys. We're really coming into balance. And for those of you divine feminines that are that are really trying to move on, it's mainly because you're coming into your balance, you're finding the value within yourself, and you're not letting anybody stop you. Like you literally this is this is your divine masculine energy coming through. Okay? And I don't want people to think that that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing even though, you know, you're saying to yourself, I want to find a new relationship. That's not bad. It's If it's a part of your journey, it's a part of your journey. But the balance is really happening, guys. It's really happening. Whoa. I just want to, like, stare at that for a second. That's just so serendipitous. The sun and the moon came out in between doing the, the readings for the divine feminine and the divine masculine. The divine feminine and the divine masculine. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, so gorgeous. All right, cool. Let's get into this now. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Masculine at this time. What are the best messages for the Divine Feminine? Not the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine moving forward. It's so funny. I just had a Freudian slip saying for the Divine Feminine, but the reason why I did that was because I was picking up on the fact that the Divine Feminine is watching to see what's going on with the Divine Masculine, but... Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Let's get into this. Uh, spirit, best messages for the Divine Masculine at this time. Thank you so much, Spirit. Divine Masculine. One more shot. Okay, here we go. Divine Masculine. Let's cut the deck. All right. 
Overall energy for the Divine Masculine, we have the Emperor. Isn't that sweet? So what I'm picking up here is the Divine Masculine um, is really moving into his masculine power. But not just his masculine power because he's kind of been in it. It's just a twisted view of it. But what I'm picking up right here is the Divine Masculine is really starting to accept his role on this mission. He's starting to walk his path as a Divine Masculine. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and finally, Justice. Ugh, guys, this deck is so freaking gorgeous. Um, So what's happening here is... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm sorry. Justice and the... Oh, yes. Look. Justice and then the Queen of Pentacles. Guys, this is really, really good. This is very good. I'm picking up some really... Some really awesome stuff for you, Divine Masculine. So what's going on with you right now is you're really starting to step into your Divine Masculine power. And not just as like a masculine energy. Like you're starting to accept your role in this journey. Whether you are aware of the Twin Flame thing or not. Whether you're comfortable enough to say, I am the Divine Masculine on a Twin Flame journey. Whatever. Whether you call it Twin Flames or you call it a soulmate. I don't give a shit. It doesn't really matter. It's just a label at the end of the day. But ultimately, on an energetic level, you are really stepping into your emperor power. Why? Because you have been going through this situation of trying to understand where you got to where you are right now with the Seven of Pentacles. What are these seeds I've sown and what is this nasty ass fruit that's growing here? <laughs> like, how the hell did that get there? You know what I mean? And coupled with that, you have the Ten of Wands. So you're in a situation where you're ready to release the burdens. You're ready to plant new seeds that'll grow, that'll provide you with a much better harvest. And ultimately, that brings you justice. Okay? Justice is on the forefront of your mind. And this is not just... I mean, yeah, to a certain extent, this is talking about justice that will, um, that will, you know, make your divine feminine happy, happy. And yes, that is on your mind. But what's really happening here is justice for yourself. Okay. Justice for your path. Justice for the, 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 the spiritual path that you are here to walk. Okay. And with that comes justice for all of the people whose lives you are here to effect in a beautiful, beautiful way. I mean, this is this is not just justice on your personal level or between you and your divine feminine. This is justice on a world scale, guys, because as you step into your divine masculine power, your emperor power, divine masculine, you are starting to do what it is you came here to do to be of service to people and justice is served. Yeah, I think that's really quite beautiful. And what the Queen of Pentacles here is saying, underly, under, underlying everything is, all of this has been facilitated by what you have learned from your Divine Feminine. Do you hear that, Divine Feminine? They were listening. <laughs> Even though they were throwing their tantrums and falling back into old habits and blah, blah, blah. They still got the message. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. Okay, so surrounding energies for the Divine Masculine, we have... Oh, yes. Look at that, guys. The Queen of Cups. What did I say? The Divine Masculine heard you. Your energy, your love is surrounding him right now. And he is loving every bit of it. Every bit of it. And even and this just came through. Even for those of you that are really putting forward the super tough love aspect of moving on and finding a new relationship, it's influencing him. I'm going to leave it at that. Moving forward, we have... Oh, oh, also, um, this is also speaking to some of you Divine Masculines are really starting to get in touch with your intuition. But not just in touch with it because you've been doing it for a while. It's more about you're now starting to trust it. Which is in turn helping you trust your Divine Feminine also. Helping you trust that she's not just some crazy ass bird that's like insane. You know what I mean? Like... And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I just say it that way because in the beginning of this journey, especially right when we reached the runner chaser phase, that's a lot of what the Divine Masculine thought. She's nuts. Yo, get this chick away from me, right? Okay. But see, he's starting to trust his own intuition, which is in turn allowing him to trust you, Divine Feminine. And so now it's kind of like, oh... Oh, I get it. And some of them are actually even falling into a divine feminine heavy um, 
uh, merging of their energies. So a lot of them are even starting to feel what you felt, Divine Feminine, in which only helps them gain more perspective. Yeah? Okay, Divine Masculine, for you. Moving forward, we have um, how you see your twin, but also how you're seeing your connection with yourself, your balancing aspects of your, your masculine and feminine, how, feminine energies, how, how, um, how they're interacting with each other. Okay. We have guys, <laughs> the empress. So now we've got the counterparts. We've got the, um, the emperor here and we've got the empress. So in many cases, the Divine Masculine, oh, gee, and look at that. He's staring right at her. I mean, I don't know if you guys can actually see it, um, but I'm going to hold it up for you so you can see it. But the way they fell on the table, and they're in the right spot, too. Look at that. Look, look. Look at how the Emperor is just gazing at that divine, that Empress right there. Okay? The Divine Masculine is is either stepping into or is standing in his emperor, divine masculine power, and man, does he want you, divine feminine. Uh, he, and, and yes, yes, he does, he, he is feeling quite lustful, wants to make all kinds of love to you and all that gushy stuff, but at the same time, he sees you for who you are, divine feminine. You really see your divine feminine for who they are, divine masculine, and I'm picking up that you really want to do right by her, okay? You're not fucking around anymore. A lot of the reason why some of you have stayed so detached and have really, I know you've been feeling the urge to contact and, and reach out to your divine feminine, but you haven't been because you don't, you want to, you are very, very serious about coming correct, okay? You are very aware of the fact that you, you can't come to her with no mess no more. Because she's going to see right through it and just brush you off like it ain't no thing. You know what I mean? Which is going to be, which would be, I would, I'm going to be honest, that would be much more hurtful to you other than if she were to pitch a fit. Because she's not going to pitch a fit anymore. She's going to see all that bullshit, all that childish bullshit and say, Ugh, who are you? Go away. I don't have time for this. Like she's not even going to waste her energy on it anymore. And you know that. You recognize that. So you're really, you're really growing some balls, bro. And I love it. I love every second of it. But you're starting to see the divine uh, feminine within yourself also. You're starting to see your magnetic empress power within yourself. And, I mean, that's excellent because that gives you another way, uh, another, um, another tool in your toolbox towards manifestation. Because you're becoming comfortable with magnetism with drawing things towards you instead of always going out and, you know, taking action from an egoic point of view. You're starting to understand the principles of allowing things to come to you while taking the necessary physical actions, yes, but also getting comfortable with just sitting back for a second and letting letting everything marinate, yeah? Which is going to be so beneficial for you in your manifestation abilities, Divine Masculine. Like, really... And I'm, I, I speak from experience here because um, I was very much always in a receptive mode, but I was so disconnected from my masculine energies that I was never really willing to go out and get anything. I had all kinds of self-confidence issues, so I never felt like I would be successful. So I just always kind of sat back and never really got anywhere until I really started dealing with my issues with um, masculinity and masculine energy and the twisted view of masculine energy that we live in in this society and once I started healing that, that's when my manifestation abilities really took another step up because I was confident and ready to go out and do the work while just allowing myself to sit back when I needed to and let things come to me, right? Okay, so next we have, where are you in relation to union, Divine Masculine? And that is also within union between yourself, not just your twin. Excuse me. We have the moon. There, Wow. There is a lot of feminine energy around you right now, Divine Masculine. Um, you've got the Queen of Cups, you've got the Empress, you've got the Moon. Justice has this feminine figure on it. All of it is centered around the Emperor. Okay, so yes, you're still very much a masculine energy, don't get me wrong. But you are really moving into a point where you're, you're coming to terms with your own femininity. Okay, now... 
um, the moon is speaking to uh, the same, a similar message that the Queen of Cups was talking about, and that is you getting in touch with your intuition and really starting to trust your intuition, um, finding just how loyal your intuition is, you know, with these dogs that are down there. Um, understanding that you really can trust it, even if you, even if it's pushing you towards something that you think is just absolutely crazy. Well, actually, it's not as crazy as you thought. There's a reason for it, and you're beginning to trust that. This is also a message for those divine masculines whose divine feminines are um, moving on, are seeking other relationships, are in essence leaving you behind. It's not what you think, okay? Just like I was saying to the divine feminine, it's not what she thinks. It's not what you think either. Yeah, she may come up with another with another uh, relationship, but if you two truly desire to be together, to come into union, it will happen. Okay, but in order for that to happen, divine masculine, and I, I'm, I know you're already starting to get this message, but in order for that to happen, you have to start stepping up. You have to start. You've got to take up the wand, basically. You've got to take up the torch, okay, and start doing the things that you need to do to heal in order to bring this union to 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 the forefront. And I know a lot of you are already saying to me, "Okay, we get that. You've been saying that to us for a long time." Yes, yes, you're right. We have been saying that to you for a long time, divine masculine. But I just, I need you to understand, it's not what you think, okay? But it's not, you can't just like give up and move on and, and think it's going to come to you without still doing some healing, okay? That's the reason why I say that. <sighs> okay, next we have what you want your twin to know. And I'm, as always, I'm leaving this as it is. What do you want your divine feminine to know? We have the two of swords. Okay. <laughs> okay, what you want your twin to know is you realize that she is in this two of sword state. You realize it. You get it. And for the most part, you understand why she's in this two of sword state. Now, some of you are still not too sure. There are still some elements of, of it that you don't quite understand. But you're letting her know that you, that you recognize that she is in this state right now and it doesn't look good. Okay? But again... It's not what it seems. Boop. Okay. Um, some of you are also saying that you're still in, uh, feel like you're between a rock and a hard place. There are still some very hard decisions that you are having to make right now. And you want your divine feminine to know that, again, it's not what it looks like. Okay. I'm struggling with this, Divine Feminine. I'm really struggling with this. This is really hard. This is this is not just something, this is not just a willy-nilly, okay, make that decision and gone. No, there are some real practical aspects surrounding some of these decisions that the Divine Masculine has to make right now, Divine, Divine Feminine. And I'm really feeling a push to put that forward for you, Divine Feminine. You have to be patient, okay? Some of these situations are not easy to break away from. All right. Speaking from experience, I just got out of a marriage. Um, the, the divorce was just finalized a few weeks ago. Lord, let me tell you how difficult it was to actually go through with all of that. I was with him for nine and a half years, almost 10 years, and I struggled with it. There was a lot of practical elements surrounding moving away from that. Okay. It's not easy. The universe spirit is really urging the divine feminine to really tap into her divine feminine power and be as patient as possible. Because guys, they're doing the work. They're doing it, okay? At least for those of you that, are, that, are, that I'm connecting with, that I'm reading for right now, your divine masculine, he loves you. <laughs> he loves you. You are the empress to him. This is how he sees you. You need to be patient. Please, please, please be as patient as possible. I'm not asking you to put your life on hold, but I am saying a little more patience is needed right now, okay? All right, Divine Masculine, what is crowning you? What are you manifesting? What is on your mind? What is your current challenge? We have the Three of Wands. Okay, so look, this is a really good sign because the Divine Masculine has made his choice. What is his choice? His Divine Feminine. Okay, so now he's in the practical elements of it, of trying to figure out how to get there. I literally, I was just saying that. The, he, he, he's, uh, <laughs> he's trying to figure it out. 
He's really trying to figure it out, guys. Okay? Please just be patient. I mean, he's passionate as ever. He has made his decision. He knows, where, he knows where he wants to go. He just doesn't quite understand how to get there yet. Thankfully, he is coming into terms and he is balancing out with his... Um, with his feminine energies and his intuition. And his intuition right now is going to be the best ally to him because it's going to give him insights that he wouldn't he wouldn't be consciously aware of. It's going to lead him in places that he wasn't going to go necessarily had he not developed this connection with his intuition, okay? Finally, um, in the underlying current, the, the, the undercurrent, the undertow, no, hidden energies for the Divine Masculine, we have the Ten of Swords. And that makes perfect sense because he's done with the backstabbing. He's done with feeling taken advantage of. He's done with dealing with people that are just going to take advantage of him. He's done. And it's so funny. I love the way this card is depicted in this deck because you see you have that warrior down there with all of those swords in his back and literally like dying. And we have this feminine energy on that white horse riding in, pulling that guy's soul out of there so he can start over on a new cycle. And what was I saying earlier in the beginning of the reading? What's happening right now for the divine masculine is absolutely influenced by his divine feminine. It's like we're reviving them. We're pulling them out of this extreme ego consciousness, this, this twisted masculine view of themselves and the world around them, and we're breathing new life into them. We're, we, are, we are handing them the opportunity to, re, to, to be reborn. Why? Because we love them. We love, we love him unconditionally, even though we've gone through a lot of bullshit. But see, for the most part, the collective, the divine feminine has a collective has reached that brand new level where they can see things for as they truly are. They can see things, uh, they can see why things happened the way they did. Okay. Wow, guys. That was really a beautiful reading. There it is for the divine masculine. Um and if you notice, like, look at, all, look at all of the feminine energy that's here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Empress. We have the Moon with this feminine, with this, uh, this woman depicted on it. We have Justice with a woman depicted on it. We have the Ten of Swords with a feminine energy pulling this guy out from the battle, from all the pain, and helping him start over. This is so gorgeous. And this deck is beautiful, too. <laughs> um, I want to pull some Oracle Guidance here. And this is going to be for the collective, okay? This is not necessarily just for Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine individually. This is for the collective. Um, and I'm going to do it from the Crystal Mandala deck. I also feel like I want to pull some Whispers of Love Oracle, but I'm not sure. They we're already at 52 minutes here. I don't want to... Take all of your time. <laughs> okay. Spirit, please make us a clear, be a clear channel. Please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine as a whole. Um, for in relation, in relation to this reading for this week. Yeah? Thank you so much, Spirit. One more shuffle. Okay. For the collective. Best messages, please, Spirit. We've got one. There's one more. This one. Nourishment and melt into divine desire. Well, well, well. You remember all that? Now, first of all, understand, look, both of these cards are similar in color, okay? So we're talking about the root chakra here. We're talking about... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're talking about lustful energy here, guys, especially with this melt into divine desire. Um, there is a lot of desire between the twins right now. And it's mainly because we're leveling up and we're starting to understand things from a different perspective. And so the collective is kind of like getting, the, the connection is getting deeper and stronger. And as that happens, I mean, you just desire each other. You really do. And so um, this card, Melt Into Divine Desire, is saying to me, do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed of this. There's nothing to be ashamed of. 
absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. If you find yourself, if you find your thoughts really going there, roll with it, appreciate it, see it for what it truly is. Understand that this is your connection with your, you, with your divine partner deepening. Okay. You guys are really, really moving into a very deep and connected energy, uh, state of being. And with nourishment here, it's saying, allow, allow this connection to nourish you. Allow the energies that you're feeling and the thoughts that you're having, um, along the lines of, you know, having your, what your life with your twin would be like, allow that to nourish you, allow that to feed your soul, allow that to, allow that to be your sustenance as you move through this extremely difficult path. Okay. We all know how difficult this is, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. The strengthening of the energies that I have felt recently has number one, yes, it has concerned me because I was I was concerned whether or not I was going to fall back into attachment. It hasn't happened. I'm still detached, and I thank God every day for that. But um, it has the the energies, the feelings, the thoughts, the emotions. They really have sustained me in moving through this path. They have allowed me to stick with it because I know I've I've, I've come into the the, the 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 mental space where I know this is going to happen. I know it. When it's going to happen, who knows? What's more important? Who cares? Because it's going to happen in this lifetime, period. Okay. So really allow this divine desire that's really being, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the fire, stoked. This divine desire that's being stoked, stoked and strengthened within us and the fire is growing, allow that to nourish you as you move forward on this path, Okay. I am going to pull some cards from some from the Whispers of Love uh, Oracle deck because I really feel called to right now. Spirit, please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine Collective in relation to this reading. Thank you so much, Spirit. One more shuffle. Oh no, my feather. Wait, hold on, wait. I gotta get the feather, guys. <laughs> I found this feather so long ago on the streets in Manhattan. You know, there are pigeons everywhere. But I picked it up and it just stayed with me this whole time. And I love it. Yay, feathers. Okay, best messages, please. One. There's one more in there. Two. Oh, look at that. Have faith. Oh, sorry. The sun is setting here, so it's changing up, but there we go. Have faith, guys. Melt into divine desire. Allow it to sustain you. Yeah. We also have honesty is essential. Ooh. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully in a loving manner. All right. So, um, and right on the nourishment card, Honesty is definitely a form of nourishment. The universe is asking, spirit is asking all of us to be as honest and upfront with our feelings as possible to ourselves and to our counterparts, our twins, okay? Um, Divine Masculine, if you feel like you really need to come, you've been feeling that pull to really come forward and say your piece, just do it. Divine Feminine, if you are feeling... I mean, you're moving forward. If you really need to move forward with, um, you know, finding a new partner, just do it. If it comes from a place of authenticity, if it is your truth, if you're just trying to be spiteful, uh, I would stay away from that. But um, uh, this is a lot of this is for the divine masculine because a lot of you have been really feeling the urge to come forward and speak your truth to your divine feminine. And I know I've been having telepathic conversations with my twin and I have been, I've been working really hard to get him to understand that I don't hate him. I'm not mad at him. I want him to come forward. We don't even really have to really hash anything out. At this point, there really is nothing to hash out. Okay. We get why these things have happened so far. If you don't quite get it, I'll help you understand. But as far as all the past bullshit goes, leave it in the past. 
Okay, reconciliation is all I want with you. So please understand that you are worthy and you you don't have to think of some grand elaborate scheme divine masculine. You don't have to put together some some big old show. I mean, if you want to, go right ahead, but understand that for the most part, for us divine feminines that are really ready for you to come back, we don't need all that fanfare. We just want you to come back. Okay? And honestly, we don't really have to talk about much. We don't, I, I, I don't, I have nothing to prove to you. I have nothing to prove. The only thing I have to prove to you is my love for you. But the only way that I can do that is if you step forward now. Divine Masculine, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to speak your truth, to come forward, okay? There it is, guys. Those are the messages for this week. I don't even think, I, I didn't even look at what the date was, but I'll just put it in the, the description. It really doesn't even matter. These messages are timeless anyway, guys. <sighs> so there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we're reaching 2,000 subscribers, and I want to do something special um, for that. So what I would ask is that you guys uh, in the comments section let me know if there's a reading that you want specifically, any type of reading, um, you know, something special that I can do for you guys for the 2000 thing. Cause honestly, I was talking to some friends about this, um, a few days ago and I was saying how I can't, I can't even begin to describe what this feels like. This really has take this whole or uh, reading thing has really gone above and beyond what I expected. And I am so grateful every day for all of you that have been interacting with me and sharing your stories with me and traveling on this journey with me and listening to my crazy stories about my life like damn i don't even need to know about your life i just want my reading shit you like that kind of like i love you guys i love you guys so much thank you so much for joining me so please in the comments section let me know what you would like um, as a special reading and i'll take up a tally or if something crosses it <laughs> strikes my fancy and um, I really am called to it. I'll choose it. But other than that, I love you all so much. I really do. You're all my sisters and brothers. <laughs> all right, guys, have a great week um, and I will see you next week. Um, oh, and look out for uh, Zodiac readings. Those are, I think I'm going to be doing those next weekend because we're hitting the end of March. So those are going to be coming out soon. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.